welcome to the next part. What's going on guys? Welcome to the next part of the diesel mini bike. So today we are going to be doing the meat and potatoes of the build. Let me show you. Basically that consists of setting up our jack shaft, aligning the chains, putting keys and everything, lining up the motor and mounting it. So this thick boy right here is going to be the engine mount. Pretty much spans the entire length of the bottom part of the mini bike. So that will be nice and sturdy for us. Everything's going to be size 50 chain. So it's going to be a super sturdy mini bike and I can't wait to get it riding. So let's just get right to it. First, I begin by sizing up the chain. After the chain is to length, I need to find myself a master link. Unfortunately, I was having some problems with clearance with the bolts for the bearing and the chain. Simply sanding down the bolt should do the trick. After keying all the sprockets, I then resize the engine mount, tack it onto the frame, measure out the bolt holes, and then finally I drill them out. Once the engine was mounted, I can then resize a chain that goes from the torque converter to the jack shaft. All right, so I have the motor mounted on there. We got the sprockets all lined up. And before I can make foot pegs and do the brakes, I really want to see where we're actually going to be sitting on the bike. So let's make a cool little seat first and then we can do all the other stuff. So I appreciate everyone uh, pitching in on their ideas of what to do for the seat. So the only tractor seat that I could find online was 15 inches across. And this seat right here came off of some workout equipment and that's about 15 inches across. And the fact that it kind of goes out from the frame just looks really goofy. So I don't think a tractor seat is gonna quite work out. So the second most common opinion was to make a seat that goes up like this and then has suspension that goes straight down. And the only suspension that I have are these and then also a shock off of a bike. So the plan is this will be some steel tubing bent 180 degrees and then I was gonna use these because they look really cool, but these are actually meant to support both a rider and an entire motorcycle. So I think they're gonna to be too stiff. What I'm gonna do is use the bicycle shock, make this pivoted like that, and then we're gonna have the shock go underneath so we have at least a little bit of suspension. So that's the plan. Let's try it out. I use this bendable vacuum tube to get a feel for where I want the seat. I take angle measurements of both sides of the tube to make sure it's 180 degrees. I then flatten the ends of our hoop so that I can bolt it onto the frame. After some welding, grinding, and drilling, I can now mount the frame of our seat to the chassis. I then prepare the shock I'm going to use with some gussets. After the shock was tacked on there, I sit on the bike to see how well it works. Mm -hmm. 
Conveniently, I made the shock angle adjustable, so I can change the squishiness of the seat. Perfect. see I finished up the uh, rear seat and it turned out just how I wanted it. Uh, thanks again for the, the replies on what to do with the seat. It's got a good amount of spring to it so I think that'll be just fine. Let's go check out what we're gonna do for uh, some foot rests. So my initial thought for the foot pegs would basically just be a straight bar that goes from underneath the frame but that is just a little too boring for me. So I have these foot pegs instead that came off of the same motorcycle that I have the handlebars from. So I think what I'm gonna do is bend some tubing and then um, put the foot pegs at the end of them. Okay, so let's uh, bend some tubing and see what we can do. Again, I start out by bending some tube. Once it's cut to length, I measure out where I want the pegs to be. Off camera, I break my vise. All right, so I got the foot rests all set up. Uh, they're growing on me. They're all right. But let's go ahead and move on to the brakes. So I got this disc brake. This is actually off of a snowmobile. We're gonna put that on here. And we're gonna put this right on top like that. And then the master cylinder will go under the frame like that. Brakes are honestly my least favorite part of any project. It's like you don't even really need them, you know? Anyway, there's two holes on this caliper back here. And I guess I'll just cut a piece of thick metal, line it up with the holes, and then weld the thick piece of metal straight to the frame. And then we'll be able to bolt on the, the caliper itself. I begin by measuring the distance from the holes of the brake to the back of the frame. I then cut out a simple design. After the caliper mount was welded on, it was time to mount the master cylinder. I use this old dirt bike shifting lever as the brake lever mount. Lastly, I tack it onto the frame. Well guys, I think I am finished up with the brake mechanism. It kind of looks like it has a vitamin deficiency, but um, you know, it does the trick. It's at the perfect angle and uh, I think with some paint and a little bit of touch-up, I think it'll look really good. So this little piece right here is actually a kickstand from a bicycle. I was having trouble finding something rigid enough that wouldn't bend um, while I depressed the pedal, so that's all I could find. Now it was time for a little bit of housekeeping. First, I needed to make some mounts so that the handlebars were more sturdy. After that was figured out, I set up a throttle. Finally, it was time to properly weld everything together. I then remount the engine, talk to my mom about stocks, mount the chain, Make sure the wheels don't fall off. Now I think this thing is finally ready to start up. All right, so I did a bunch of uh, pre-test ride touch up to the bike. So I think I'm gonna open the garage door and we are gonna see if this thing starts. Unfortunately, I was having some issues with the axle moving on me when trying to accelerate. I ended up making a couple of these little guys to stop the axle from moving. <laughs> 